There is a country on the west coast of South America that confounds every expectation. Covered in rainforest and dominated by wildlife, French Guiana is home to something out of this world. I undertook an extraordinary journey from Paris to the capital KN to witness the launch of a satellite that would start a new era in Earth observation. French Guiana is a hodgepodge of culture, home to a sparse population of just 250,000 on a territory one-third the size of France. Among them, there are Creole, Europeans, Native Americans, slave descendants, and Hmong. We traveled from south to north, east to west, by boat, plane, and car. Along the way, we met some of the most extraordinary creatures on this planet. This is Future Proof in French Guiana. Welcome to the jungle. This is the true Amazon experience. 90% of French Guiana is made up of this jungle and rivers. We're here to hunt the caiman and some snakes and spiders too. And you can hear the noise is already getting loud because we're getting close to nighttime. It is a truly cinematic experience. In the Amazon, it's impossible to see the forest for all the trees, so I took a local biplane to get a bird's eye view. If you think Ireland looks green from above, you should see French Guiana. The canopy seems endless, and of course it is. These trees are often referred to as the Earth's lungs because the Amazon creates 20% of the entire planet's oxygen. First up, we went north to visit Damien Chevalier, a researcher in the Awala Yalamapo Natural Reserve. We were up at five o'clock in the morning, no less, to head out to the Guiana Space Center to witness the transfer of the Soyuz uh, to the launching position. Uh, now we are heading to... Awala Yalamapo. Okay, I'm not even gonna even try and pretend I, I know how to pronounce that. And that is, uh, what, northwest, is that right? Exactly. So this is the part of the country where we'll get to see the leatherback turtles. We drove late into the night, but when we arrived, Damien was only starting his shift, tagging some of the largest turtles in the world as they came on shore to lay their eggs. Greenback turtles are enormous, the size of a standard paddling pool and strong to boot. In order to tag the animals, it takes Damien and two assistants a good half hour to sand, clean and prepare the shell for the sensor and epoxy glue that holds it in place. Once the tag is on, the turtle has to be kept offshore in a pen for at least half an hour while the glue dries. Damien is trying to figure out why the number of turtles, both green and leatherback, the largest species in the world, are plummeting. These species can nest seven times in a season, laying up to 100 pool ball sized eggs at once, yet egg poaching, erosion and offshore fishing are responsible for dramatic losses. because it is a free mud bath. The Marani River separates Suriname from French Guiana and as such is a hotbed for smugglers. A long river surrounded by tropical rainforests, it is home to all manner of living things. We took a trip with guide Pierre to see what we could find. We're on the Marigny River in the northwest of French Guiana and behind me you can see Leper Island. This is the island where they left people in the late 19th century to see if they had leprosy. And over there is Quarantine Island where if you were coming in from another country, you were left for a couple of weeks to make sure you weren't sick.
brought us deep into uh, the Amazon jungle and it is pitch black here. We're looking for the caiman. Pierre, can you tell us what the caiman is and, and how many species there are? Uh, the caiman is a kind of a, a crocodile or uh, more than six species uh, here in all South America and in French Guiana we can find four species. And how big and, uh, do they get? Six meters or more. Uh, <laughs> wow. What they call the black caiman. Uh, we can find it in more in the east of, uh, of French Guiana. Okay, so we're less likely to find it here. That makes me feel very, very comfortable indeed. <laughs> I can't believe we're going out looking for these. Brilliant. Okay, let's go. As someone who comes from a very different part of the world, it takes quite a while to feel completely at home in the pitch dark, surrounded by movement, chirping, and the occasional scream of monkeys. There's an act to hunting for Kaiman. The trick is to point a torch directly down your line of sight and pan across the horizon like a searchlight, looking for two yellow dots beaming back at you. Like cats, Kaiman's eyes are reflective, and it's this adaptation that has betrayed them to hunters for decades. We traveled deep down the river, often having to cut down a branch or two to progress, and I did wonder to myself how on earth we would find our way back, but Pierre seemed to know what he was doing. The sound of life was everywhere, and being on our own in that boat, I felt like we were exploring a new world. Eventually, we reached a bank and ventured onto the brush to see what we could find. We are in the middle of the jungle now. <laughs> We've just gotten off the boat, and if we uh, if we lose our torches, we are completely screwed. You can see these leaf cutter ants all over the country, and they're genius engineers. They carry leaves around like sails and munch them up when they get back to the nest. They form sort of a paste that in turn grows a fungus, and this is what feeds the colony. There are countless frogs around, of course, and these tree frogs have developed extremely sticky pads for holding onto branches for hours on end. Pierre assured me that no frogs in these regions are poisonous, but I figured I'd take his word for it. But it's not just the animals that have evolved to live in this habitat. Some of the plants have gotten very clever too, looking like they've come straight out of the movie Avatar. This is the fruit of the river cocoa plant, which flowers pretty instantaneously overnight in the dark, and it's pollinated by bats. And because it flowers so quickly, it has to do so under pressure, which means when you bang it, it does this. There are other residents in these trees, possums, monkeys, spiders, and slightly terrifyingly, countless deadly snakes hanging in the branches just above our head. Luckily, the only ones we encountered were babies. These boas are the perfect predators. They have snake pit sensors, hollowed out pits on the front of their faces, allowing them to detect temperature variations as small as a few thousandth of a degree, helping them to map out prey in the dark. This is an adult boa constrictor that we've just picked off the tree. Whoa, it, it, it's a little unnerving, I won't lie. I think we better put this fella back. Pierre, I'll let you do this, will I? <laughs> Pierre is preparing a little tea ponche for us. It's uh, sort of like a mojito, except um, a little bit more basic. It's lime, there's sugar, and a little bit of locally made rum. Cheers, Pierre. We had spent the entire night looking for the legendary black caiman and still come up empty-handed. So we decided to cross the entire country and head for the core swamp. way to Marais de Corps in this, well, it is the rainforest, it's sort of biblical rain. Uh, we're hoping to see the Cayman and uh, we are running a little late, but hopefully we'll get there in time. This weather is pretty difficult to, uh, to see anything though, so hopefully it'll lift. We've been desperately trying to find the Cayman and we had no luck in the Maharani River. So we've come here down south to the marshes of the Col, which is absolutely tingling with life. We've seen kingfishers, cormorants, and dozens of species of birds, lots of fish in the sea, insects in the skies, and hopefully some Cayman under the water.
One tooth in the jaw of these cold-blooded creatures can produce 100,000 pounds of force in an adult male. Caiman are ambush predators who rarely expend energy when it's not required and have the ability to estivate, staying buried in the mud for up to two whole months when the heat gets too much or there's no food around. It is futile to look for wildlife in daylight. Most of the animals on this river are nocturnal and wait until it is pitch dark before venturing out for food. After scanning the horizon looking for cat's eyes in the water, we finally found a caiman and I had to hold on to him with both hands to keep him from wriggling free. This is a spectacled caiman. It's native to this particular area and it's about three years old. The biggest ones can go up to be about two and a half meters and you can see several adaptations to its environment including the eyes and nose that stay above sea level while the rest of the body stays laying in wait for the prey to come. Here's some trivia. It is apparently very difficult to sex a crocodile because the male and female sexual organs are almost identical with the male's penis splitting off in two. From the moment you step foot in French Guiana, you will be dripping with sweat. It is that humid, so any opportunity to take a cool dip is always taken. Our last night on the swamps of the River Col was unforgettable, and as videographer Matthew and I sat on the roof of the boat Morpho watching the sun set, we both knew that we would leave for home changed men. <laughs> Je vais pas trembler devant ce pantin, ce minus. Je vais l'attraper lui et son chapeau les faire tourner comme un soleil. Soir la femme du torero dormira sur ses deux oreilles. Paria pam 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 pam, ce que ce monde est sérieux. Paria pam 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 pam, ce que ce monde est sérieux. J'en ai poursuivi des fantômes, presque touché leurs ballerines. Ils ont frappé fort dans mon cou pour que je m'incline. Ils sortent d'où ces acrobates, avec leurs costumes de papier. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you something. When in Rome, do as the Romans do, and we had lots of lovely food on our journey. One dish, however, was a bit of an acquired taste. Now this is a typical Creole dish in a typical Creole restaurant. You've got rice, you've got beans, and of course, iguana fricassee. Bon appétit. I think I just ate a toe. <laughs> 